Alright guys, it's Saturday, we're seven weeks out, we're also in Thailand and it's fucking pissing down. <laughs> yeah it is actually. So we've probably had rain like this most days, at least at some point, but uh, yeah definitely be out in it for two seconds and it'll be like having a shower. It's still pretty cool though. So now we're going to get a car up to our room and get on with the day. Yeah, well no doors in, uh, in pouring down rain probably is not going to work is it? Plastic doors. A lot exception. Do it up tight. Yeah. Well, it is a good question what they do when it rains. Yeah. Isn't it? It is. They and got that's, it sorted. that's the answer. They got it sorted. Yeah. They got this shit on, on point, these guys. On lock. Sup, everybody. I'm off to go grab my scooter that I got yesterday. Finally got a scooter. So I've got some wheels to buzz around. And the plan today is to scooter from here along the coast to Patong, which is probably going to be about 50 minutes. Um, in and out, it's going to be a really cool time. There's a security guard, making sure no one steals my bike. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you some of the sights along the way. I've got some utopia, utopia time, to make it a good time. And um, here's the scooter, 125. Not sure why the speedo goes up to 160, but uh, we're going to be we're going to be testing it out. So yeah, I'm gonna, just going to uh, jump on the scooter that I got for 300 baht a day. That's probably about 11 11 bucks per day. I got it for three days, and then I'll probably get a nicer scooter because this one's kind of shit. So yeah, we've got a, uh, a better day than we have done, and uh, we're going to go and check out some sites now and also going to go and train in Patong. I haven't hit legs since I've been on holiday. That's one thing I've, I really need to fucking smash and I can't smash my legs in any of these hotel uh, gyms because they're just not good enough. So yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, first stop. I haven't even got anywhere. Just got down to the beach and I've got to show you, show you guys this, man. This, this beach, I was actually talking to a guy last night. Um, there used to be beach clubs along here, uh, beach bars and things. Um, the military came through and, and cleared everything off of it. I think it's pretty much treated as, you know, a, a tourist beach and one that hasn't been overtaken. So this is fucking epic shit, man. Last night, I came down here. They've got yoga on the beach every morning. I mean, can you imagine it? Yoga on the fucking beach? Like, they've got, they've got Muay Thai training on the beach. I actually haven't done any of it, but I do plan on it. Um, but yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you guys a look, man. Our hotel's up, up this way, so. up there it's it's a five-star hotel it really is um, there's not many five-star hotels on Phuket and the two hotels that we've stayed at have been legit five-star hotels so you do pay for it but it's an amazing experience uh, it's a scoot scoot I'm gonna go jump on that continue on along this road up around there and uh, I'll show you guys where I stop next
Yes, I've got a pink helmet on. Yes, I've got stupid glasses on, but I have to tell you this, guys. Just riding along then, looking into the scenery, looking out, uh, feeling free, feeling fucking, it's just me and the wind, man. It's, there's no worries here. It's just completely carefree. I'm on holiday. I don't have to go to work. I'm fucking cruising around a tropical island on a scooter, having the time of my life. This, this is living, man. This is living. I, I'm, you know, I was nearly in tears before, man. I had goosebumps. I was just like, this is living. You have to experience this stuff. It's amazing. It's such a good feeling. Fuck. And I get so caught up in earning money. I really got to change that shit, man. It's cheap to come traveling here. Oh, my God. I just need to remember times like this. Remember feelings like this and you know, convince myself that it needs to happen more often. It just had to stop and tell you that guys, running through my head, I had to share it. I'm buzzing man. Can you imagine how good it feels having Utopia and doing this at the same time? It's fucking good. All right. So I'm actually just hiding here out of the sun because as you can probably see I'm getting a bit fucking red but uh, the traffic lights say 100 seconds so we've definitely got time to uh, make a quick pit stop and that's what I'm doing. Alright guys so I'm currently uh, waiting for the police officer to come back and give me a fine for not wearing a helmet. So that's dumb. Let's hope it's not too much. I don't think it is. Let's say 500 baht, which is about uh, 20 bucks. So let's see what he's got to say. He uh, came over, he stole my keys, locked it up, so I couldn't go anywhere. And uh, he's going to come back and give me a fine. Bro, where's. God, these guys are telling me to fuck off and I can't move the scooter. Just take my keys. I've got my helmet on now though. One, two, three, seven, 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 What's up? Seven, two, All good? Seven, two, one, two. All right, guys. He wasn't too happy with me uh, filming him, but um, turns out I, I got my first fine in, in Thailand. It's, uh, it's 500 baht for no helmet and an extra, an extra 500 for apparently not having my license on me. And I said, well, I do have my license on me. And he said, well, when I stop you, you're meant to produce it straight away. He didn't even ask for it, the cat. He's just getting some extra out of me. So apparently I've been sent off down this way with the fine in my hand. I've got to go to the police station, pay it, get it stamped, and then take it back to him. And then he'll give me my keys back. All right, so the story gets even better. <laughs> the police station is three kilometers away. I'm now jumping on the back of a bike. I'm gonna go pay it and then come back. Police. Oh no. Pay a fine. Okay. Sweaty car. Well, that was definitely an experience I'd like to forget soon. Not a nice place in there, not a nice place.
helmet next time, that's it. Catch you, champ. Catch you. Alright, back to see this bastard. And guys, if you ever want to know what a paid Thai traffic fine looks like, it's a whole bunch of scribbles with your name apparently at the top. Don't know how they spelt it. And that's that. Fucking hell. Well, I got my key back. That's the main thing. Alright guys, so I've just come around uh, Patong and I'm heading off this way because apparently there's a Rastafarian bar around there and I want to check it out for obvious reasons so <laughs> that's what we're going to do I'll just give you a quick look around so we are at the north end of Patong Beach and right down there is the south end and it's, it's fucking hectic eh? it's too hectic it's nothing like uh, Nighton Beach where we're staying but um, these coastal roads go all the way around and uh, that's where apparently this Rastafarian bar is so I'm gonna head off and see how we go I'll let you know so I'm gonna stop stop the video right here we are sitting at the northern end of Patong Beach um, <laughs> you saw me go into or and all I've got to say is that was an absolute rip-roaring success uh, won't go, won't delve too much into it, but there were some dodgy cunts and um, they asked me what I wanted, I told them told them the price, they gave it to me and told me to get on my way so that's how you do it here guys uh, I just actually saw my dad for like two hours, we caught up hadn't seen him since the second day we got here um, he's staying in Thailand at the moment with his friends as well and um, I'll probably catch up with them tomorrow too. So today was a wicked day, scooting around, scooting around the, the island of Phuket. And I got lost multiple times, but that's what you've got to expect. And uh, it's all just about going with the flow over here, being carefree, and wearing your helmet. Because <laughs> that was certainly an experience. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back uh, tomorrow. It's, uh, it's seven weeks out tomorrow, so I'll be making a seven weeks out video. Uh, there's a scales up in the gym at the hotel, so I'll also be weighing in. And um, yeah, until next time guys, have a great day, train hard. I'm going to go and train now. Uh, it's not going to be legs, it's going to be something easier. I'm going to go and smash legs tomorrow at Combat, oh, I, think it's, I think it's called Combat Muay Thai. Uh, training gym Phuket. It's a huge gym. It's the biggest one I've seen so far and it looks like it's equipped pretty well so I'm gonna go ham on some squats and some deadlifts and really fuck myself up so then I can you know take a day off the next day and feel good about it. So that's the plan guys. Thanks for joining me. Have a great night. I'll see you in the next one.